years of experience. Hey guys, I'm back. I don't know what's going on. Maybe this is a Well, this isn't exactly, it's like the roundabout area of where I used to stay, but I'm going to show you guys. There, it used to be, what happened to the bodega? What happened to the bodega? Y'all was looking forward to going to this bodega. It's right here. The, okay, it's, maybe that's it. Maybe they, they closed. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to get a bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. But yeah, this is like the roundabout. I'm actually headed in the direction of my old place, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Like when you go to a place. Yeah, I think, yeah, Delicatessen. That's where I used to go. Like I remember now. Dang, time like... It's just crazy, y'all. Like, <sighs> memories. Okay, so maybe they're just closed for today. But I was going to go there and get me a bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll. That, you guys see in the distance, that's the train I used to catch. But, yeah, I used to live, like, in Little Italy. So, it's like a little walk from here. It's maybe like a mile. But the way I walk, I walk pretty fast. So, I'm going to find something to eat. But yeah, yeah, as I was saying, you guys, like, man, Times Square, that junk crazy out there. Uh uh. My mom asked me yesterday, she was like, Are you gonna go? Probably not. I wouldn't mind going, but when I say you cannot move, it's so many people. You're like packed like sardines on the sidewalk because they have all of the streets blocked off. And so they just squish everybody in on the sidewalk, and you can't walk. People don't know where they're going. Everybody going crazy. So, nah. I think I'm probably going to be home tomorrow chilling. And guys, guess what? Ooh, boy, I was top 100 off of 2018. It's going live tomorrow. Turn up. Man, this is bittersweet, y'all. I'm walking through my own neighborhood. Oh, look at it, you guys. I'm not gonna show you guys the actual building, but I'll show you guys like the area. I'm gonna show you guys like the cross street when I get closer. I'm not there yet, but I'll show you guys where I used to stay out here in the Bronx. I like the Bronx though, it's pretty diverse. And I was telling a colleague that I used to live in Little Italy in the Bronx, and it was like, what? I think he was trying to be funny. He was like, they'll let you stay there. I was like, what are you talking about? Some people are so ignorant. He was like, well, I know how it used to be. They didn't allow black people in. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? I don't get that vibe in New York. People in their own beliefs. Maybe that's his experience. I'm like, I don't have that kind of experience. I mean, that's the reason why I live in New York. Well, I used to live here and I'm moving back because it's so culturally diverse is very welcoming. I also want to go and get my nails done. I want to go. But no, they have a respect for black people here. So I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. At least for me anyway. I didn't have any issues when I was living here. I felt very welcome. Especially compared to other places that I have lived across the country. Like LA, for example. <laughs> This is my old nail salon. Okay, I gotta come back. Wait, is this it? I think so. Hey, sometimes like things look so different, you guys. I think that's it. I'm about to come back. I need to get a fill in. See y'all that? The prices ain't bad. $10. 
Yeah, I think that was it. I gotta find me some food, man. Cause my favorite place is closed. I was like, no. Yeah, people, <laughs> the New Yorkers, you can tell, like, they the New Yorkers, they was getting mad in Times Square. It's like, cause they nobody could go nowhere. The foot traffic wasn't moving. The street traffic wasn't moving in the cars. It was just stuck, like I had to stand still for like hours. When I say I was down there for an entire hour trying to get out of that traffic, y'all. It was it was just insane. I'm like, oh my gosh. And that was yesterday, two days before New Year's Eve. So I'm like, it ain't no way. I don't think I'm going down there. I don't see how people do it because you can't literally, you can't go nowhere. You are literally stuck. No. Let's let it go. Let's let it go. Who is? The temperature's drop, y'all. Who's tuning in? I'm trying to find what I want to eat. There is this one place, this deli I used to go to. She would grab some gloves. I think my partner mad at me. He's like, he couldn't sleep last night. Because he said, I woke him up. I'm like, dude, you woke me up with your snoring. I didn't wake you up. You woke me up. This place, I think I ate there like once. It's pretty good. And it smells good, too. Cannot be real. Y'all look. Peaceful and quiet, family oriented. Oh, there's a post office. Man, it's so crazy, huh? Yeah, I actually used to walk. This is the route I used to take. Because I, that was the closest train station that I showed you guys. The D train at Fordham Road uh, near the Grand Concourse. <laughs> so, I used to walk. I mean, I think there's a bus, but I didn't want to take the bus. Sometimes I would take a taxi, though. But my journey was crazy because I actually went to school out in Long Island, you guys. Yeah, being that I went to school out in Long Island, that is a good little way. Long Island is like east of Queens, New York. And that which means I will have to take the D train to, I think I 
have to get to 42nd Street, and then I would walk to, um, I think Penn Station or something like that. It was a journey, y'all. And then I would take the Long Island Railroad from Penn Station. But yeah, let's see which way do I want to go. Man, y'all, this is like... <sighs> So I heard that Trump, he didn't shut down the government. It's been shut down for over a week. I'm like, really? I guess I didn't notice it. I can imagine though the employees, they notice. Okay, you guys, I'm getting closer. Oh. A lot of people say like the Bronx is the hood, but it was straight from when I was living here. It's a mixture. I live like closer to Fordham University though. So it was a bunch of like college students, young folk, families too. But it was straight. I'm taking you guys there. Taking you guys with me. It's funny because I'm when I'm in LA, people are like, damn, girl, you take the bus. I'm like, this is nothing. I used to walk everywhere out here. So, and y'all can see how long it is taking. Let's see, when did I start this video? Yeah, like 12 minutes ago. And I'm almost there. It's gonna bring back so many freaking memories. Oh my gosh. I wanna come back to see what has changed though. I had to come back. How are you guys enjoying your holidays? I am having a ball. I still have six more days here. Boy, you know, is it six or five? Yeah, something like that. Oh man, y'all, I'm almost there. I'm almost in my old neighborhood. I mean, all of this I consider my old neighborhood because I used to be all over this place, but specifically where the block I used to live is coming up. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm getting, I'm getting giddy inside. This is crazy. Now, what's really going to be crazy is when I take you guys back to my home home of Jacksonville, Florida. That's going to be crazy because I ain't been back there since 2015. Let me go this way. Whew. But, yeah, I ain't been back there since, like, 2015, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Apartments for rent. And... I know a lot has changed since I left there. I moved from Jacksonville in 2011. So, woo! It has been a while. And I lived in Atlanta for three years, from 2011 to 2014. And then I lived in New York City from 2014 through 2016. So, the girl, I've been all over. Now I'm in LA. I've been in LA since 2016. But before you know it, I'll be back out here, you guys. Will I move to the Bronx? Probably not. I don't know. I like the Bronx, though, to be honest. But I see myself moving to maybe Manhattan or Brooklyn. But I am getting close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm almost here. I'm about to cry. <laughs> Don't cry to me, okay. Keep it together. Woo, keep it together. <laughs> oh, I'm getting close. I'm like super close, y'all.
she's so damn happy. <laughs> I'm in my own little world, that's why. <sighs> you guys, I'm almost there. Check it out. <sighs> I like how they put up the lights. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I thought he remembered me. I think my uh, ex used to get his hair cut there. <sighs> he probably remembered me because I've been to the barbershop with my ex a few times. That was a barber shop piece of, I've just passed. Oh gosh, full moon pizza. They have the best pizza. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is Little Italy, you guys. I have arrived in my neighborhood. This is officially my neighborhood, you guys. Officially. This is it. Where I used to live. And it's cool for the most part. Like, Tommy's are cool, man. They lay back. You know? Italians don't have no beef with black people. Oh my god. Dang. Wait, they changed that restaurant. I think it used to be a Jamaican restaurant. But, it looks like they changed it. Oh no, it's on the next corner actually. It's a Jamaican restaurant up there. Bakery. Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh man. This junk is crazy, y'all. I am coming up on it, you guys. I ain't gonna show y'all where I used to live, but for you guys who actually really follow my vlogs, you guys probably already saw. I mean, I've shown, like, the inside of my place where I used to live, but I've never shown the outside. But you guys have seen me coming out of my building where I used to live before. If you follow my vlogs, you've seen it. But this is it. This is little Italy. <laughs> You know, they say change is good, right? Dang, dang, why you let the Jamaican restaurant go like that? That is bad. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> okay, let me go this way. Oh, y'all, this is amazing. <sighs> this is so amazing. Amazing memories. A lot of times, y'all, I probably think that I make these vlogs for y'all, but I think I make it for myself because I go back and I watch my videos. It's like making a photo album, taking pictures for a photo album, and going back and looking at your photo album. That's me. So, I do this a lot for myself, mainly guys. <laughs> but I am here. I have arrived, and it feels so sweet, y'all. There's a laundromat. Oh. 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 <laughs> There's Sea Town. Yeah, everything pretty much the same. Antonio's. I have a lot of Italian restaurants. Great, great food, you guys. Great. But, oh, y'all. <sighs> I need to grab me something to eat, though. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I'm going to find something. I had to come back and visit. Damn. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> wow. I'm just speechless. All I can say is just... Wow. Wow. Just looking at the street where I used to live. I'm actually walking down the street, you guys. Where I used to live. Oh. So many memories. Good and bad memories, but memories nonetheless. I'm getting closer. <sighs> this is amazing.
amazing. I don't even think I have the key anymore. I have so many keys. Oh, y'all, this is so fucking for real. This is for real. Oh, my God. This is it, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Damn, y'all. It's crazy. And the building stadium was a brand new building, you guys. Brand spanking new. Oh. Now I gotta end this vlog because it's so bittersweet. But I'm gonna catch you guys later. Happy holidays.